Hello there, I am Jack with my Pokemon Crystal and the last pro to go on the Vermilion, the Vermilion City Pokemon Gym later to Lieutenant Surge, the Sludge Jet Pokemon in that gym there were about two trainers. The electric fence was turned off for Gen 2, but not for the third generation Fire Leaf Green or first generation Red, Blue, and Yellow and Green, I guess you could say. Yeah, so that was nice that we didn't have to go through a puzzle and check all the trash cans. Now we're here in Saffron City, we got the TM for also TM29 Psychic, but also Bro Solo, my Slowbro, and Mystic, my Espeon, but all, both no Psychic, and those are the only two Pokemon in the party. I don't my final team member that can win Psychic by TM, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. Here we are in front of the uh, Saffron City Pokemon Gym. Saffron City Pokemon Gym, uh, Lady Sabrina, the master of Psychic Pokemon, yeah. We also took on, we also went in this gym right next to this, this used to be the fine dojo, but we got the focus band, the karate guy we talked to, didn't want to battle to us, but that's okay. We gave the focus band to uh, Sans, uh, Sanders, my sense slash, and that may prevent fainting, which is pretty cool. I think that's, we also talked to Copycat, which we'll get back to her later on in the story, I guess, because the um, objective of the, uh, the thing in the story hasn't activated yet for a copycat yet, as far as I know. So yeah, we're gonna wait till later to do that. Other than that, we basically that's all we really did. As we can remember, like the main things we did. So let's talk to the statue. Or read the statue. Saffron City Pokemon Gym. Okay, let's talk to the Vice Giver. Yo, champion making a trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck, thanks, okay. So, we're gonna take on this, uh, I think it's a, not really, I think it's either a sage or a, uh, I forget what trainer name this person is, but we'll show this battle anyway. The power of all those you defeated comes to me. I may, I totally probably just misread that, jeez. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Let me move my microphone a little to the angle right now. It's like pointed away from me a little bit. There we go, cool. Okay, medium. Okay, that's the turner type name, okay. Rebecca wants to battle, cool. Let's go for the, okay, she's gonna go for the drowsy, okay. Solo 35 and female. So luckily I have Mystic here and, has sh and sh she has Shadow Ball. So let's use Shadow on this thing. It's gonna be super effective, but then the, something with the stats, with it being a physical move, I believe, may hinder Mystic. I don't know, I don't remember Mystic's physical tax that if it's good or bad i just use whatever like i I'll, i'm pretty much using shadow ball just because it's super effective you know that goes to drowsy that shit drowsy was 25 levels we were 25 mystic was 25 levels higher than thing and he, she's gonna send out hypno next okay i used to hypno my original pokemon the green walk the guide not my redo of it but my original made a good pokemon this type now is less level 35 and female cool but Mystic is still 25 levels higher than this thing. Goes down with one Shadow Ball, awesome. So yeah, the, the, the remainder of these trainer battles, I'll just skip to the end, honestly. I just want to show the first one, like I said before, that was my plan all along. So yeah, Mist Medium Rebecca was defeated. Cool, strong, far too strong, thanks. Except for 1400 Poké Dollars. Cool. I don't remember the puzzle, so it's just like, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error, honestly. Jeez. The fighting duo next door was once the city's, the city's gym. I don't know about that, but we'll see. I don't know. Okay, if Psyche Jared was defeated, I did use Headbutt on one of his executes. I think he had two executes and a uh, Mr. Mime. But one of the executes used Stun Spore and Paralyzed Mystic. So I'm gonna have to heal that right at, right at, right at this battle, man. Okay, it wasn't no a match. But thanks for 1,120 Poké Dollars. Now, as far as I know, I think that Sabrina's gym was all was originally the the gym that came first for this town. But he may be having some wacky dialogue. I don't know. It's like whatever, man. Yeah, let's use that for you on Mystic, I guess. So yeah, that's. I guess that's that. No one trader in this room, okay? No, I'm just guessing random panels. A lot of these rooms apparently don't have trainers. Yeah, a lot of them don't. Compared to like the original games and then third generation remakes too. Okay, uh, okay, am I gonna score? Okay, I think I already talked to you. I just bowed you probably. <laughs> Jeez. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's Sabrina. Nice. You know, actually, I wanna not, like, have to go out for all the trainers. So I might as well just take the panel I was just at after this battle and just battle Sabrina because I'm already at level 60. I don't really need any more extra experience. But yeah, we'll battle this trainer though since we already kind of activated the battle sequence. <laughs> foo, 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 I can see it clearly. I can see into your soul. That's kind of creepy. See you guys at the end of this battle.
Okay, medium Doris was defeated. She had a um book and a soul bro. How awesome. Though I though I read you, I still lost. Sorry, thanks for 1,440 book dollars. You'll get better as time goes on, don't worry. So if you take this path, if you just take the path I was taking randomly, you'll eventually get to Sabrina. So I don't know the exact um the exact uh, ways to go, so you have to go back in the video and look uh, closely. In fact, you can watch it at half speed because YouTube has that. It's it's has it's had that feature for a long time, which is pretty cool. Because you can like speed through speed up videos, like to make it twice the speed. And sometimes I do that just to get through videos I don't want to like listen to. Like if it's a slow paced video and I just, it's near in the end, I just kind of speed it through the rest of it. It's a nice tool. So if you want to go back and put my video that you're watching now at half speed, go ahead and you can easily tell what path I was taking. Just to be sure, you know? It's there for a reason, you know? Let's talk to Sabrina from the side. I had Mystic stuff front, so yeah. Sabrina says, I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. Okay, interesting. That's kind of creepy. Uh, you're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it, it's, it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, uh, I will show you my powers, psychic powers. She has similar dialogue to the original game, just like everyone else does. For these gym leaders, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's gym leader Sabrina. She wants to battle. Nice, okay. Oh, she starts with her own little espion. Cool. So it's level 46 in male. My espion is still uh, 24 levels higher than this thing, I think. Her... No, 14 levels higher, I should say. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's have a shadow ball war. How about that? Okay. Now, I don't really expect this to 1-8 KO it, but it'd be nice if it did. Oh, it's it's being nice to me. It did. I want shot the spin. Let's go for an epic Espeon sweep here. So I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. She has two Pokemon, and I think she has a Mr. Mime, a Miss... Uh, not Mystic, but Espeon. And Alkazam, as well, I'm guessing. So, yeah. I'm going to stay in with Mystic here. Mr. Mime... I used a Mr. Mime in uh, my Pokemon Fire Red video, I think it was, or maybe it was my Pokemon Leaf Green video, I can't remember which one. Or not my Pokemon Fire Red video, my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Live Stream series. See, either in that series or if I did in a Pokemon Leaf Green video. Because I remember my original Pokemon Leaf Green Walk the Guide, I used a Hypno. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier too. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. This Mr. Mime is level 46 in female, so Mystic is still level 14 levels higher than this thing, and it goes down one hit. Awesome. Now, if her last Pokemon is Alkazam, which I'm like 90% sure, I'm pretty sure Mystic can't one shot it with a Shadow Ball, but we'll see. Maybe a critical hit will happen. I don't know. But, you know, Alkazam is just a beast, and it's it's just all around a great Pokemon. Because this Alkazam is level 48 in male, so Mystic is still 12 levels higher than this thing, but we'll see how much this Shadow Ball does. Right off the bat, I want to go. For, I want to go for the instant win or the quick win. If I can just one shot over, I one shot over a Pokemon. Wow. Okay. I was way expecting the Alakazam to still live with that shadow ball, but Mystic has some crazy stats. Apparently, or got lucky or something, or just high enough level. Either one of those reasons, I guess. We had a Sabrina was defeated. Awesome. Okay, your power. Thanks. It's far exceeds what I could, what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Interesting. Okay, you win. You and yourself, Marsh Badge. Like Civil for 4,800 Poké Dollars, Sabrina. We get the Marsh Badge. Marsh Badge from Sabrina. Nice. So that's our second Kanto Badge. Now we have the 10 badges because we have 8 Jota Badges and now 2 Kanto Badges. So that would be 10 badges altogether out of the 16. Awesome. We're over halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say that, but it's the lyrics aren't well for halfway there, so kind of like butchered it. I'm sorry. A marsh badge draws out your supplemental powers. Although I failed to accurately predict your future, your power. I must said future. I said future that time, and that time. Okay, this is, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. I kind of am the Jodo. I'm already the Pokemon League champion, but whatever. And also, when you, I forgot to mention this, but after you beat the gym waiter, like in all gym, um, gyms and Pokemon games, after you beat the gym waiter, the Pokemon trainers you didn't battle on the way to the gym waiter, um, they, they, was, they won't fight you anymore, so yeah. 
Keep that in mind if you're still for experience. That's what you always want to buy all the trainers first before battling the gym later. If you want experience and all that, all the experience you can get for the gym. I'm just doing random pathways, so hopefully I get to the. Dang it! Hopefully I get to the exit soon. I'm just, I don't know the puzzle at this at all. I apologize. I'm I'm just not. I I didn't bother to look it up or anything. So just guess and check really. Trial and error. What do you want to call it? But we get to listen to this awesome tune for I think we're almost out. Well, I think we're almost out. S famous Oswalds before I'm wrong, and I'm pretty much wrong right now. I think I was on to something though. What about this one? Oh my gosh, I think it, I think it has to do with this room. One of these has to be the one of the, okay, this one has to be the thank you. This one has to be the exit. I was right, awesome. Okay, even though I said it like two times ago and I still was wrong. Anyway, let's check the best skip again. That was another fantastic battle, thanks. Yeah, here's the statue, Siphon City Pokemon Gym, Waiter Sabrina, Winning Trainer Steven, awesome. Now, what I want to do next is go to Celadon City next and take on Erica. And I'm only at like 12 minutes of recording time, a little bit over 12 minutes of recording time. So yeah. Hmm. Let's switch up our Pokemon though real quick. This, I want to make sure I heal up with the Pokemon Center, so I'll also heal up with the Pokemon Center and Siphon City, just to be sure so I can return here using a fly. So I have my Pokemon level 60, I have my Pokemon level 61. It's fitting that Blaze is up front because uh, there's a Grass type gym coming up in Cell Density because you know, Erika and her trainers and her gym use Grass type Pokemon. So I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can head off west of Saffron City, and then we can easily get back into, get into Swoon City. Now, if you guys think so, I'll mention this on route, what, is, what route is this? I forgot. It said on screen for a second there. Route 7, okay. Now, you can catch Houndour here, but that's a Johto Pokemon. It's a great fire type, because it has really good stats. It's a, when it evolves into Houndoom, I believe it turns, I'm like, I know it turns into Dark and Fire type. It may even be Dark and Fire as a Houndour, but... At least a pure fire type, nonetheless, for Hound Hour. But it makes it like a Pokemon. It resists any psychic type moves because it's half ground, half dark type. And if you use a psychic type move on a dark type Pokemon, it won't be, it won't affect it at all. So it doesn't affect it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. If you want to look for a fire type, although I chose, you know, Growth and Arcanine early in the game because it stinks that you can't have Hound Hour early in the game when you're in Johto, which kind of stinks. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna actually, I forgot to put, um, my metal coat in the PC. Did I? Yes, I think I did. Yeah, so I said I would put that off screen, but I'm gonna do that right now. Plus, I want to heal up here just to make sure I have um can fly back here because I visit the Pokemon Center and heal up then. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's hop on a bicycle to go a bit faster. Um, can we get an Eevee back here? I don't think we can actually in the original games and then um Pokemon Fire Leaf Green you could, but oh, there's still something back here I believe. At least in one item I know that. So even, if, even if it won't be hidden, although I could be just totally talking my butt here, out of my butt here, which I hope I'm not, because I want to be kind of right on this. But, uh, yeah. Oh well. Um, you'd think there'd be an item here, but, uh, I guess there isn't. Oh well, it's, it's back here at least. There's gotta be something back here. Let's see here. Let's climb all these stairs. What's in this room here? Um, nothing but a guy. Okay. Let me recount a tail flying tail. Then again, it's not scary while it's still white outside. Come back here after sunset, okay? So if you come back here after, um, nighttime, I don't know what he tells you, but, uh, uh I, might, I might show that off if I have time. I could switch my clock around for this game. Although I could totally just... I'll do that at the end of this video if I remember. I'm gonna try my best to remember. Okay, um, we went to Pokemon Center. He has a Poliwrath, I believe. Even that looks like a Poli- That honestly looks like a Poliwag. But whatever, because <laughs> the tail. Um, here's where you can buy- I think this is where you should get the hot tier. Also, yeah, from- for, in Fire Emblem Green to give the guards. But, uh, yeah, it's okay then. We can just move on. She has a lot of Pokemon, which is awesome. Uh, the Pokemon Mart. I think you can actually find evolutionary stones where you don't have to wait on someone to call you that you battled already. It's saying, hey, I found a fire stone, like, you know, schoolboy Alan, like, well, I got the fire stone to evolve, uh, you know, boys into Arcanine, or my growth into Arcanine. Um, you know, I don't really need to buy anything, I just want to see if they sell any evolutionary stones here. I mean, the original games and in, in third generation remakes, remakes they did, but, uh, yeah. 
Guess a polka doll, which will let you uh, escape from one Pokemon battle, which is nice. Although I don't need one of those if I have a, a smoke ball and a mystic, but whatever. I think this might be TM, so it could be the evolutionary stats, I forget. Okay, so X attacks, okay. Interesting. Okay, yeah. HP ups, like I said, vitamins. That's also. These are very expensive, but it'll help boost up your Pokemon. Stats wise, like, you know, it raises HP for HP up protein, raises attack stat, iron raises defense stat, carbos raises uh, speed stat, and calcium raises special stat, and then, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's nice, at least. But one of these has got to sell evolution stones, unless they don't do that in the remix for Gen 2. Or the Gen 2 games, I guess you could say. You know, oh, he was looking to buy like lemonade and soda pop and stuff. So you can buy fresh water, soda pop, and lemonade. Um, let's buy a couple, let's buy one of each just in case. I mean, it's, 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 it's significantly cheaper than, uh, super potions, potions, and whatnot. So that's awesome. Fresh water, I believe, he has a pure Pokemon by, um, 40, 50 HP, 40 or 50 HP. I can't remember. I think it's 50 HP. Soda pop, um, restores Pokemon HP by 60, and lemonade restores, uh, HP by um, 80, which is pretty cool. So did I buy every, one of each of them? I think I did, but I wasn't also paying attention there. Yeah, lemonade, sure, pop, and fresh water. Cool. So one of each, I guess. I'll just I just bought them to show them off. I guess I might use them later on if I need a specific amount of HP restored on my Pokemon. But as far as I know, I don't think there is um. A counter where you can buy evolutionary stones in Gen 2, which kind of stinks when you go back to Kanto, or go to the Kanto region, I should say. Which kind of stinks, also I totally just skipped over it, but... I mean, your best bet is to either um, go behind, go to Bell's house and show him the stream of Pokemon, like I'll look down first. Here's the water, it's so calm, nice. Dang it, that's what I get for now, put a on. That was a Grimer of all things, that's pretty cool. Grandma had been appearing lately. See that pond and out in front of the house? Grandma lived there now. Where did they get come from? This is a serious problem. Oh man, and it kind of reminds me of the episode of the anime where uh, Ash, Mist, and Brock go to that one town that's like polluted and stuff, and they find a lot of Grimer in the water and stuff. And kind of a uh, bizarre episodes in some cases. Here's the game corner. Okay, welcome. Okay, cool. What do you have to? Okay, TM32. Which I think is double TM, TM29, which is Psychic, which is pretty cool. TM15, I'm guessing that's Hyper Beam. I believe TM32 is double TM, I could be wrong. Yeah, I have only 26 coins though, so that kind of stinks. I don't really expect to buy anything from these things though, okay. You can buy a Pikachu for 2,222 Poké Dollars. You can buy a Porygon for 5,500, not dollars, but coins, sorry. You can buy a Porygon for 5,555 Poké Dollars. There goes Poké Dollars, again, coins, I mean. You can buy a Lavatar for 8,888 coins, there we go. <laughs> and if you don't want to catch, um... Lavatar in the wild, which I think is near Mount Mortar or something like that, where the big waterfall is between the, uh, we have to use waterfall right after we reach Kanto for the first time, surfing east of, um, New Bark Town, and get that stuff for you, I guess, which would be cool. You know, Tyranitar is one of the best Pokemon in the game, honestly, because it has such great stats, and it's a rock and dark type, but keep in mind that's four times like Defiant type moves, but still, it's a good Pokemon. I've never used one before, but I think I've raised one in, uh, I think it was either Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red when I could possibly get a Larvitar in that game in Sif I can't remember. Here's the game corner. Here's the advice giver actually. Hey, jump in making. Are you playing the slots too? I'm trying to get enough coins for a prize Pokemon. But I don't have enough coins yet. Okay, so he doesn't tell me they felt the sold on Jim. Um Hey, underneath the poster there's nothing. Interesting. Hey, underneath the poster, there's nothing. This would be the Team Rocket hideout being hidden around here, but, uh... It's not here anymore, because they disbanded, and but they did make their return in this game, so... Yeah. Okay, let's play the slots for a little bit. I mean... Nope, I automatically just... Okay, I'm gonna bet three still. I'm trying to wind up the sevens, but I'm really bad at it. You got eight coins, nice, because eight Pikachu's lined up, cool. Let's do it still through this time. We'll play one more round. 
So I almost broke even. I came in with like 26 coins and I came out, I, I left with 25 coins. The sad tune plays again, obviously, when you just quit. I, I don't really want to bother talking to the people if they give me coins because it's whatever, man. I'm not really good at the slots anyway. I always just buy the coins all the time. If, if, if I have enough money to buy all the coins, I need to get the price Pokemon and what prices, such as Pokemon and TMs and items. Held items, you know. But, uh, that's that, I guess. Other than that, I think we can take on the gym next, which I won't do the next part. This is the original building where you could get the coin case, I believe. So that's cool. Is there any items over here? I think- Oh, we need cut. Dang it. Forgot about that. Cheers. Here's a pee, pee up. Awesome. Let's actually use that right now. Just to get it out of the way. Let's see. Pee, -pee up use. Who needs it the most? That's a hard one. Um, Blaze has five PP moves, right? Extreme speed, dragon breath, flame wheel. Let's use it on extreme speed. Yeah, there we go, nice. We need a Pokemon with cut. Oh, can we, can we just go around and um, nope, 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 to, ah, oh, dang, I was so hoping we could just go around, but nope. They want you to have to cut down that stupid tree. That kind of stinks. Okay, so I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and uh, heal up, and I'll also, just in case actually, and I'll also get a Pokemon out with cut. I think I would need Paris, because Paris has cut and flash. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, here I am back with uh, Paris, who knows cut. So let's take on this, cut down this tree, and we can make our way to the Southern City Pokemon Gym. That's, you know, that's always exciting, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, we got this guy. <laughs> this is great. Only girls are allowed here. Okay, it's gonna be it's being a little creepy, but whatever. We're just trying to ignore him. Try not to, try not to let him get to us or something. I don't know. Okay, so density Pokemon Gym, Weird Erica, the Nature Loving Princess. Cool. Okay, so now that it's nighttime, I actually just have to switch my clock for the game. But we can go back behind this building in Celadon City, and we can actually go to uh, the um, guy who said come back after sunset. So that's what we're gonna do. He's actually gonna give us tell us a uh, sad tale, I guess, a sad story, a uh, scary story, I guess you could say. And he's also gonna give us TM03, which is curse. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk to him. Let me maybe count a uh, ter terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. We hadn't. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice that sun had set. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy. When he stopped pedaling, the bike began slipping backwards. It was as if the bike was cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion. Okay. Shriek. The boy had been riding uphill on the second road. Ba dum ba dum. <laughs> For listening so patiently, you may have to take this TM03. We get TM03, which is curse. Awesome. Yeah, it puts uh, we put in the TM's pocket. That TM03 is curse. It's terrifying move that it's a terrifying move that slowly whittles down the victim HP. But the, you've got to mention that the user using curse has to cut half of its max HP in order to put the curse on said Pokemon. So keep that in mind. So that's pretty cool. I'll be teaching them my Pokemon, but I just want to show you that, because I honestly didn't know what, what he was giving us until like, I had a full recording on trying to record this segment, but that's okay. But yeah, I knew, knew the second time around because I had a full recording, yeah. So yeah, back to the main video. So yeah, so the next part, take on the Cell Density Pokemon Gym. And I believe it's a small gym, really. It's not as big as Erica's old gym. It's, I think it's like a straightaway path, really. You don't have to go like cut around the bushes there's like there are the trees i think there's still trees you have to cut down in the gym but it's like not where there's trainers all around the um, area where she's in and i don't think there's i don't think there's as many trainers i think there's like three or two to three or less trainers in this gym compared to the original games and the 3d the third generation remix uh remix no the remake sorry my bad so yeah so let's go again i would like to think you can goodbye and i'll just see you guys like my pokemon crystal walkthrough guide